Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we're going to make this upcycled one micron filter for your electroform or nickel plating solutions. You're going to need these supplies and these tools. I'm using the one micron filter bag scraps left over from my anode bag video. No scraps? Then you can get these bags for just a few dollars on eBay or at your local pet or pool supply shop. Using a small drill bit, we are going to add holes to the inside of the bottle cap. Keep all of the holes on the inside of this rim. The exact hole size doesn't matter, and I'm using a 1.5 mm bit. Still in a circular pattern. I think this looks pretty good. I like to clean up the top with a razor blade. This is optional. Take your lighter and fire polish. Next, we are going to cut the first bottle into the filter top. Cut it large enough to accommodate coffee filters, as they will act as a pre-filter. Now cut the second bottle into the filtered solution catch bin. You can use one bottle for the whole filter, but it will have less storage capacity. Ready for the main event? Take the 1 micron filter material, shiny side up, and using your circle stencil, trace a 22 mm circle. This will fit perfectly into the drilled bottle top. To cut the circles, you'll need a pretty good pair of scissors. Cut at least two of them. Slightly larger is better than smaller. A good option is to also cut a 1.5 square inch piece of the same cloth. Insert the 22 mm circle into the drilled bottle top. Shiny side down. It should be a snug fit. Now assemble and tighten the filter cap to the filter body. You can leave it like this and proceed or add a second circle and the 1.5 inch square. Shiny side down. Both pen poked into position. Coffee filters, put it in there. And now we're ready to filter. Right, easy enough, we're just gonna pour it in. This is really super fast. Uh, you're getting really good one micron filtration. Make two go faster. Now I'm gonna put it back into the beaker. Please watch the next video, like, subscribe, and keep on plating and creating.